Welcome to the TLX Just in Time quick tutorial videos just for GBC faculty. My name is Salvador Garcia Martinez and I'm a learning technologies and analytics specialist at the ETI Center. In this video, I will show you step by step in less than 10 minutes everything you need to build a basic course in Blackboard using our standard template. This is a tutorial for beginners, so even if you may not have experience building courses, by the end of watching this video and following along with it, you will be having your first course ready to go. The standard template includes all the elements needed to start your course, such as course homepage, course information, a section for your weekly learning materials, and shortcuts to tools such as announcements and discussions. You can download the course template from the Teaching and Learning Exchange website located in the Information for Faculty area in the Josh Brown website or contacting tlx at joshbrown.ca or helpdesk at joshbrown.ca. In this video, I walk you through everything on my computer so you can easily follow along and build your course while watching this video. The goal is, by the end of watching this video, you will be ready to go with your new course. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. To import the template, go to your course and open the Packages and Utilities section located under the Course Management menu. Select Import Package slash View Logs and, in the screen that appears, press the Import Package button. Upload the template file and under the Course Materials section, select all the checkboxes and submit your request. You will see a message on the top indicating the success of the action. You will also get an email when the process is completed. Normally, it takes about 5 minutes. Once that's done, refresh your browser and you should see that the template was imported. Congratulations! You have completed the first step. We will start updating your homepage. Open it from the course menu. To update the first item, welcome message, open the item menu by pressing the gray drop down arrow next to the word welcome and select edit. This is the editing interface. Update the corresponding information and if needed, you can use the top bar to change the format. To open the advanced editor, Select the three dots icon located on the top right hand corner of the menu. As a tip, use the plus sign icon to add pictures, video and other types of files. Press the submit button to save your changes. Now, let's proceed updating the course outline and required materials. To do that, open the about this course section. Then, scroll down a bit and you will find an item called course outline and required materials. Edit the item and replace the text. In this case, you also need to upload your course outline and, if applies, section details. To do that, select the Browse Local Files button and upload your course outline. Repeat the same process to attach your section details. You will see the files listed in the Attachment section. Press Submit when you are done. In a similar way, update the rest of the items in this section. Once you are done, you can delete instructions. To do that, go to the corresponding item menu and select Delete. Repeat the same for the elements that you are not using. You can also hide and unhide elements. As you can see, the icon in the course outline is gray because it is hidden. To make it a variable, open the item menu and select Make a variable. If you want to hide it again, choose Make on a variable. Let's go back to the course homepage. Now it's time to add your weekly content into your course. Go to the weekly learning material section and let's do week number one. Like the previous examples, you can edit the sample content. If you want to add new content, go to the top menu and select build content. That's going to be your best friend for adding content. From there, you can add text, files, images, and even YouTube videos. Don't be afraid, you are allowed to experiment. For example, 
if you want to add the slides for week number one, go to Build Content, select File, type a name, and upload the file. You will see the file by the end of the page. You can also duplicate an item, selecting the Copy option in the menu of the item that you want to duplicate. Now, let's talk about assessments. As you can see, there is a section called Assessments for your assignments and tests. That's beyond the scope of this tutorial. However, nothing stops you to start experimenting. Go to the top menu, and in the Assessments menu item, you will find everything you need. Now, let's delete the elements that don't apply to your course. In this case, I will delete the discussion board and email. To do that, open the menu next to the discussion board shortcut and select Delete. You will get a couple of warnings before you finish the process. In a similar way, you can hide the elements. When a menu is hidden, you will see a cross square icon next to the item. Congratulations, you have finished your course. Now let's use the Use Student Preview to experience the course as if you were a student. To enter the Student Preview mode, press the Student Preview button available at the top right of your course. You will see an orange bar indicating that you are using this mode. As you can see, your course is ready for the start of the term. What's next? You may want to start experimenting with assignments and tests. Now that you know the basics, it should not be that difficult to start using these tools. This was a just-in-time video just for GBC faculty. See you next time.